So hands up if you've ever been the new guy or the new gal on a team. Yeah. Flashback to those experiences and um, you, you'll probably shudder, right? It's not always a pleasant experience being the new person on a team. What are, what are some of the words that, uh, or thoughts that come to mind when you uh, think back to first jobs or first days on new jobs? Maybe awkwardness, stress, anxiety, excitement, yeah, of course, yeah, the excitement of a new job. But it's a stressful experience. It's a really stressful experience. Um, now, flip that coin, if you will, and how many of you have been hiring managers or been involved in bringing people onto a team? That's actually typically a much better experience. Um, we have pretty well-defined systems for finding talent, you know, whether it's job boards or recruiters or whatnot. Um, and generally, HR will support that process and uh, help you be successful in finding talent for your team. But I would assert there is a broken part of that process, specifically that first day, first week, first month experience, where employees are at their peak stress level, probably at their minimum productivity level, and yet there's not a lot of support to get people through that experience. And for employers, it's a bit of a hurt on a couple of levels. First, you've got someone operating at less than peak productivity simply because they don't know their colleagues, they don't know how things get done, they have no sense of the traditions of the company. So for days, weeks, months, you're paying someone full salary, but probably getting something much less than you would like out of them productivity-wise. The second hurt is just around employee engagement. If you've got talent on your team that doesn't know their colleagues, isn't bought into the values of the organization, their commitment to go above and beyond obviously is less than 100%. Any HR professional will tell you that. And then thirdly, there's a hurt on your recruiting brand. And as we all know, we're in a war for talent, um, AR talent just being an example of that. So anything you can do to polish your recruiting brand obviously is gonna help you as an employer. So the work that I'm gonna show you is a prototype that we built uh, for ourselves. And that was a hurdle that we put in front of ourselves as we sought to serve our clients with augmented reality and virtual reality solutions. First of all, it had to be something useful, right? There's a lot of gimmicky solutions out there. That are essentially, our solutions in search of a problem. But that wasn't something that we really wanted to bring forth. We also wanted it to be something that we would use ourselves. So this is a tool that we're actually using in our own organization. And then thirdly, we set an even higher bar that it had to be something good enough and valuable enough that we could actually sell it and go to market and interest organizations in deploying it amongst their people. So what I'm gonna show you is an augmented reality employee onboarding solution. It works alongside your HR professionals, alongside your hiring managers, to go beyond the orientation binder and the orientation presentation, which we've all seen. It goes beyond getting the employee a clean desk and a computer and a pass card to get into the office. It goes beyond tax forms and 401k forms. That's all table stakes. That does nothing to solve the larger problem of productivity and culture and engagement. So without further ado, let me roll our video. Imagine yourself as a new employee on the first day. That's what you'll be experiencing. We are using visor technology, but it could be a tablet. As a part of the day one onboarding experience, a new hire is shown how to use an AR headset. He's told he can take an AR tour of the office anytime, either during or after hours. Feeling a bit self-conscious about wandering around a crowded workplace in a derpy headset, he chooses to take the tour in the evening after his second day in the office. Starting out, he sees the inside story behind the front desk. And some simple wayfinding directs him to nearby areas of the office. As he approaches a team space, he can sort by client in order to see the folks with whom he'll be working most closely. By simply looking at a photo, he activates that person's AR profile. He sees basic vitals, what that person is known for around the office, and their areas of expertise. Each profile and all other relevant tour content is stored, managed, and served from a simple database. He can also activate a brief video intro in which his new coworker empowers him to reach out and break the ice. Hi, I'm Andy. Ask me how content strategists and copywriters collaborate here at Veeam. Or just ask me about joining the Fantasy Football League. I'm the commissioner. And if he likes, he can choose to have the employee's profile emailed to him. 
Moving on, in each conference room, he can access a history of meetings designed to take him inside important methods and ways of working. After choosing a meeting, the room comes to life with artifacts photographed at the time the meeting took place. He takes his time, learning as he goes. He even sees who the key players in that meeting were and has the option to follow up with them if he wants. As he continues the tour, he signs a wall to commemorate his AR tour experience. Then, he pauses to express an absolutely essential point of view. And ventures on to learn more about his new workspace and his new co-workers. Fun, right? So I challenge you all to uh, take that back to your HR professionals and think about your onboarding experience. Think about how it could be improved. Think about how it could make the productivity of your employees probably exponentially higher. Increase employee engagement so they're bought into the values of your organization and enhance your recruiting brand.